Hey everybody, back for another review tonight. Uh, I am on day seven now. Yeah, day seven now of my uh, Pepper reviews for uh, Judy at www.pepperlover.com. Tonight I'll be doing a Yellow Maruga Scorpion. It's another good looking pod there. Very nice. Um, this is one of the pods that was starting to get soft on me, so hopefully it's okay on the inside there. You I don't know if you can see it on the camera there. There's a few soft spots. One right there. Got one right here. Right there. Get a little soft on me. So hopefully it's all right. I will not be doing a second review tonight. Um, it was a bad idea for me to have done that second review the night on a uh, uh, couple of nights ago. I uh, it that really tore my stomach up, and I was up pretty much all night with with killer stomach cramps. Um, didn't throw up, but I kind of wished I had, so it just so I could go ahead and get it, get it over with, and uh, get that pain out of my stomach. But instead, I was up all night long with bad stomach pains. Um, I had eaten two other super hots with dinner that same night, so I think, and that was like four hours before I did the uh, the two reviews. So I think I did a little bit too much that night. So I'm just going to stick to uh, one pot a night and just be done with it. So tonight's going to be the Maruga Scorpion. So let me pop the stem off here. Bring the camera down here. We're in luck, it still looks good on the inside. Let's have quite a few loose seeds in there. <laughs> um, uh, neither half has a whole lot of placenta on it, not not huge, um, not a lot of oil either that I can see, but I'm not going to let that deceive me, I'm sure this is still going to be very hot. So, I'll put the two halves together here and we'll have at it. A lot to chew. <laughs> Man, ton of seeds. Mm. Get all these seeds out of my teeth and I'll talk about it. Like any classic uh, yellow pod, it's got a wonderful citrusy flavor to it. Very sweet, very fruity, um, very reminiscent of a yellow seven pot. Um, very, very good. I like to talk about what they'd be like in sauces and food and all that. Well, this would be perfect in any sauce. Definitely would fit almost any flavor profile and it would be great up front and center as the main ingredient of your sauces. Same thing in cooking. It, it would go well in, in a lot of a lot of foods, and you definitely don't have any flavors you want to mask in this thing. It is absolutely a wonderful tasting pod. You got to put that way up there on uh, near the top of my list of uh, the best tasting pods that I've ever had. Very very good flavor to it. <clears throat> the heat right now is mainly centered on the uh, back of my salivary glands and into the back of my throat. Not too strong right now. Waiting for it to build up. But yeah, oh man, I can't say enough about the, the flavor of that. Wonderfully fruity, wonderfully citrusy, very sweet. Very good tasting pod there. <clears throat> Still building. Hmm. Judy has on her website that the uh, plants average over a meter in height, so I think a meter in feet is around 3.2 feet, something like that. And they're supposed to be very productive, so that's, a, uh, that's another positive with this. 
So you get excellent tasting pods with that uh, uh, with plants that produce a lot of them. So no brainer for me. I think that's a good one to grow as well. The heat right now is. I mean, it's hot. I'm I'm halfway wondering if this thing's starting starting to get overripe on me, and most of the capsaicin was converted into sugars. That could be why it was really sweet. But so far, um, so far it's nowhere near close to being on the level of the red. And typically, the yellows aren't going to be as hot as their red counterparts. But uh, this one certainly is not very hot. Um, it's excuse me it's making me burp that's an indicator of anything um, trying to think what I could compare this to as far as the heat level what other type of pepper um, definitely hotter than the yellow seven pot um, not as hot as the uh, the seven pot Jonah that I ate of course it's still s slowly building we're almost uh, we're almost leveled off on it already but slowly building um, uh, maybe I, I could equate it to um, to the uh, regular red seven pot. That uh, I think that it may be on around on that level. So nothing intensely hot. Yeah, we're level now, completely leveled off. We're plateaued on the heat. No more building. Um, no type of endorphin rush on this one so far. Um, but yeah, I mean it. I still think that this is a no-brainer to grow. This is a excellent, excellent tasting pod with a decent heat for me. It's still on the super hot level, but nothing that's n not like an ultra hot, like a like the reds or the red marugas, scorpions, or the butch tea or or that uh, primo that I ate uh, the other day. Not on those levels, but it still it still has a good heat to it. It's got enough to get me a little nose a little nose sniffle going right now. Um, so yeah, very excellent pod, um, very excellent flavor. One of the, one of my favorites for flavor. With a decent heat, plants are very productive, and so it sounds to me like it's a good one to go for. And you can definitely use this in any, in any hot sauce and pretty much any food that you want. You won't get a bad flavor out of it. So very very good. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say a heck of a lot more about it because I'm I mean the heat's already going down for me so. Uh, I'll be back on tomorrow night. I think I'm going to do the uh, yellow brain strain. I can't decide between doing that or the or the other butch tea that Judy sent me. I'm I am kind of interested to see how that butch tea is going to turn out and stack up against the the one that Butch himself sent me. So I actually I think I may do that one tomorrow. So yeah, uh, look out for the the butch tea review uh, next, and then uh, after that I think I'll do the the yellow brain strain. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the review.